Good morning, everybody. What is happening? What is going on? Um, I was just looking back at yesterday's video and rock practice today. We got a hard workout, 150s. They make me puke every time. Um, and then high jump and discus. Discus I'm excited for. High jump I'm excited for. And I'm always excited for a good workout. It's super backlit. I'm trying to. I guess we can go this way. Is that better? I think it's better. Okay, so discus is over. We're about to go on to high jump. Um, I threw a few throws that were decent, and nowhere near what I threw um, when I had that like breakthrough throw where I threw the furthest I've ever thrown. Uh, but looking back on it, my average throw was probably better than what I have thrown. So. Overall, I was just trying to compare it. I guess this is a life lesson or like, you can't always compare stuff to your best, right? So I had my best throw ever last discus practice on Tuesday and I expected to have my best throw again today. That's not gonna happen. I still threw over 40, which would technically be a personal best if I were to throw it in a meet, but it wasn't 42, 80, whatever I threw um, on Tuesday. So moral of the story, don't compare yourself to your personal best, especially in practice, because you're never gonna be satisfied and you're always gonna think less of your performance. Like discus actually went fairly well today. It was controlled, I had a fairly good few throws. They were all down the left, or like middle of the sector, which is new for me. I usually throw it on the right side. So overall, good discus practice. I just got bogged down in my head, but now we're good to go. gets me gives me the, a headache and makes me want to puke constantly but while I was laying down there that video that you saw that was me not doing a shakeout or not doing a cool down but laying there and trying not to puke um, all right shout out to my sister and my dad for helping me or timing that workout for me um, I finished it at 11:15. And it's currently 11.41 and I'm back in the car. Probably laid there for like 20 minutes and then cooled down for the rest. Um, first one was a flyer, 16.67. Next one, I ran slower because I thought I was going to be running slower, 18.04. Um, the goal was to run uh, six times 150, walk 250 meters rest, and then um, go sub 18 on every rep. And so after the 1804, I went 1770, 1713, 1767, and 1752. So overall, a good workout. Um, the 1803, that was more of just like, okay, we killed the first one. 
let's slow it down on the second one. And I just slowed it down a little bit too much. Um, yeah. Other than that, it was a good workout. High jump, oddly enough, my best jump was probably that, I don't know which one I'm going to show it to you as, but it was one of the misses. And more often than not, my best attempts and things aren't going to be the ones that I make bars on because whether it's pole vault or whether it's high jump, because mo the majority of the time we're just working on the approaches and then during the meet, you're worried more about height. You're more so worried about trying to dial things in. And on that one, I actually had a decent rotation, a good hip height. I just didn't rotate as well and, or sorry, I just took off in the wrong spot. So that was a matter of moving my mark back. I moved my mark back a foot and then I ended up making the next bar. Like I hit it, but my positions were definitely better and I didn't knock it off with my calves. Well, if you're in a hot climate, right now it is 86 degrees in bend. Um, partly cloudy. It was a little bit cooler this morning, but oftentimes in bend it's sunny. We get like 300 days of sun a year, which is phenomenal, but like Oftentimes it'll be over a hundred or in the nineties because it's a high desert, even though we're right next to the mountains. And if you don't have a hydro flask or something that's insulated, I recommend hydro flask because it's actually, they're made in Bend, um, or they were started in Bend. Their world headquarters is, if you can see that building over there, that like white building above the grass field, that building is actually hydro flasks world headquarters. So if you're watching Hydro Flask, I love your guys' products. Please sponsor me. I'm gonna hashtag Hydro Flask in this video. Tell me what you guys thought about the 360 video at practice. It's so easy to film in 360 at practice because I don't have to worry about setting up the shots. I just set it there and it captures everything. But the hardest part is editing it. If you guys know any 360 editing software or if any of you guys want to purchase me the new uh, Canon G7X Mark III, or the Sony RX100, or if you don't have that much money, the GoPro Hero 7. Um, or if you have one, you wanna just give me. I would happily take it. Sorry, I'm talking to you guys zero off. Um, all right, we're gonna go home and get some lunch. I'll talk to you guys later. I don't know which, it's 360, so. Cut to the next scene. Ready, cut. Okay, we're back at the house. Um, I've kind of caught my breath, kind of recovered. Um, we're just chilling out now. Had a little bit of protein powder, a little bit of protein back in the system after shocking it like that. But, cool story. Story time for a second. Um, so as you guys know, I'm kind of sort of partnered with the company Laird Superfood, um, which is Laird Hamilton's thing. I made a whole video about it. Made a thumbnail with like him, the Michael Jordan of surfing. Anyways, and my mom was just at Albertsons and somebody recognized my mom and they asked how I did at USA's and she said, kind of explained the whole story that you guys know that I didn't do great but qualified for this thing. Um, and one of the guys from Laird Superfood was restocking one of the shelves and he overheard my mom talking and was like, oh, you're Mitch Modine's mom and then ended up giving my mom uh, the, uh, turmeric superfood creamer, which is my favorite creamer. Um, the Insta fuel, which is just like instant coffee, which is bomb. And then the performance mushrooms, like you guys know how they use. Uh, and so just genuinely nice people that work there. So that was kind of cool. It's not like I'm sponsored by them. It's not like they give me free product ever. I always purchase what I use. Um, I do get it at a discounted rate. That's not, uh, anything like that, but it, they're just like genuinely nice people that work there and I thought it was kind of cool. So that was the cool story um, that somebody actually just recognized my mom and then recognized uh, me. I don't know if he actually knew me through Laird Superfood or maybe I went to high school with him. I don't know who the guy was. It was my mom at the grocery store and uh, I was at practice dying as you guys saw. So um, to whoever you are, if you watch these videos, thank you for the awesome stuff. I actually already am using it. I made some uh, turmeric coffee. You can kind of see it's yellow there. I made some turmeric coffee um, so that I could edit this video uh, while I'm just chilling after the workout. So um, thank you again. Uh, you guys are awesome. Uh, 
If you haven't checked out their product, I highly recommend it. Um, if you want to, you can go to the link in the description and get 20% off if you use my code. Body's starting to feel a little bit better. Um, you guys will have to tell me what you guys thought of the 360 video. I haven't seen it yet, so I can't tell you what I think of it yet. But before I tell you what I think of it after I edit it, which is going to be in like 30, 40 minutes, I want you guys to tell me what you guys thought of it down in the comments below. Also, apparently the thumbnail works because yesterday's video um, got way more views. Maybe it was because my thumbnail was me shirtless. Um, but also, the it got way more views in the beginning of the... Um, right after I posted it. I'm currently editing the video. I thought the 360 video looked pretty good. Um, it was much better quality than the last time. I upped to the quality to 4K instead of 1080p. Lost a little bit of the slow-mo, but didn't make that big of a difference. Um, this weekend, tomorrow morning, I'm going camping. So the Wi-Fi thing isn't going to be great, and I'm not taking my laptop. So expect some sort of travel vlog, maybe on Monday or Tuesday or whatever. So I apologize for not having an upload on Sunday, but maybe Monday night I'll get a video up to you guys about the camping trip. Um, my car is all finished. It's all decked out, ready to go. Um, yeah, so sorry there might not be an upload on Sunday. Anyways, that's going to be the end of today's video because I need to still pack and it's 10 o'clock at night, and I'm tired. So remember, be nice to people, don't hurt yourself, don't hurt others, slow down, don't dance so fast. And I'll talk to you guys all Monday, probably. Okay, bye. Why don't you ever model for me, Mrs. Kensington? You know how Mr. Kensington feels about that.